Hello everyone, and welcome again to another sweaty version of the hobo and his, his girlfriend show. My name is the one and only Hobo Tom. I'm sweaty because I just, I just collected my 160 pieces of aluminum for the week. Yes, and I gained myself some hobo dollars. Hobo dollars. Wait, these aren't hobo dollars. These are booze coupons. Ooh, booze coupons. Those work for me too. I'm not here to talk about any of that. You just had a little thunderstorm. Light's kind of funky. So I have the main light going on. I, natural light's the best light though. I'm here to talk about NXT Vente Cinco. I think, that's, I think that actually might be right. Wow, I learned some Spanish. I picked up something in my, my many days of hoboing the streets of Bumtona Beach. Who, who knew that? No, I'm here to talk about NXT 25. I think it's taking place somewhere in Connecticut. No, those guys probably won't go to it. But this is going to be a relatively short show. And I'm going to pose a question to everyone. But first, let's talk about some NXT. So to begin with, probably the opening match. Wow. You know what? That's going to be the snooze match. Yeah, that's the snooze match. Match of the night. Stone Cold Lock. Wow. To start off the evening, we're going to have my Stone Cold Lock. That's going to be Matt Riddle versus Roderick Strong. They're not having Matt Riddle lose two takeovers in a row. They're going to have him come back against Roderick Strong. Maybe make Roderick Strong a little cuckooer. That would be good. Again, psychopathic Roderick Strong. Might be best for Roderick Strong. But I say Matt Riddle's going to win. And this is my stone cold lock of the night. And then the next match. It's probably going to be the Velveteen Dream versus Tyler Breeze for the USA Championship. And I think just because they've demoted Tyler Breeze, and it will be fun to see him and the Velveteen Dream weird each other out with their promos. I think Tyler Breeze has some charisma. Velveteen Dream is chocked full of charisma. I think just to appease them and say thank you for going down to NXT, they're going to put that U.S. Championship on Tyler Breeze. But my pick is Tyler Breeze for that match. And then, of all the matches, this might be the snooze match. Only because of at least two of the teams involved. Whoa! Whoa! The heck? Aren't they supposed to say something? I wonder if everyone else. I'll go check it later. I'm actually let me go check it now. It might be important. Please but take over the show. You guys get to see my cat and me and my boxers because this is how I work. Beep, beep. Hang up. Oh wow, that was pretty fun. I think that's the first time I've ever heard my phone do that. I don't know, my phone could do that. That's how much I know. Well, I think my phone's slowly dying. Let's hear it. Beep, 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 beep. Emergency alert! Amber alert. Orange County. This is a Volusia. What do I think about that? Let's see here. Let's see if my cell phone wants to work now. There we go. Got body. Let's pray for you. Phone only. Likes to cooperate.
eighty percent. No, not that. No. Stupid buttons. Or better. Will text. When I leave. Oh. There we go. That's good. So where was I? Um. Oh yeah, the next match we have. This is my snooze match, and this was going to be one. Could be. I don't know. So it's Danny Burch and Oni Lorkin, one two, versus the Street Profits. Woo. Versus the Forgotten Sons versus the uh, uh, Undisputed Era for life. Um, that's for the tags, the vacated tag team champions against all the lights. Getting kind of really weird because the sun's like really just going through the crowds and it's going right through the windows. This is gonna be my snooze. I say if you have two face teams, one tweener team, and one heel team, this is a stretch. They have been pushing the Forgotten Sons recently. I think they're going to get the belt. The belt. That gives both the Street Profits and a storyline for Undisputed Era. So the fact that the Street Profits can chase. So you have the face chasing the heels for the tag team titles. The Undisputed Era starts to go bonkers. And that's going to be Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. And I'll get into that in two more matches. And then... We're going to have Shayna Baszler versus Io Shirai. Well, it feels to be the upteenth time in some iteration. I don't see what they could do. Only because NXT is so face-heavy. Especially the women's. Mainly because Chelsea Green's injured. MJ Jenkins doesn't feel like a women's champion. Renita Gonzalez is generic Texas woman. I think Shayna Baszler is going to retain her belt. The Yoshirai is kind of a she's still newish, but she can still chase for it. And there's a whole bunch of other things. And then we have the main event of the evening. We have Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole, baby! And I have Adam Cole, baby! Bang, or boom, whatever he does. Going over. And this is going to be the, ma this is going to be a twofer. This is going to be the match of the night. And with this win, Adam Cole is clearly going to be in charge of the un un undisputed era for life. Bang! Baby, he tag lags. I I can get in, and he'll just have issues corralling Psycho Roderick Strong, frustrated Bobby Fish, and confused Kyle O'Reilly. So at least that'll give the some some dynamics. And with SummerSlam, 
So we're really only about two months away. That'll give them something to do at least, because then you could probably set up for a fail three-way match. Or a War Games match for the tag team belts. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds too good. Um, I booked it here first. And I'm also going to say, as a bonus, it's now I've incorporated a bonus segment where something unpredictable happens. It can be anything. Candice LeRae is going to show up. And it's either going to be one of two versions of Candice LeRae. It's either going to be jubilant Candice LeRae, who gives her husband attaboy, wink, or later, or it's going to be nagging, nagging girlfriend, Candice LeRae. But I say Candice LeRae, and that's the bonus segment. And I think that's NXT 25. I just realized how short NXT takeovers are. And let's see here. And I think... Let's see, it was that. Oh, now you want to work. Is there a big New Japan Pro Wrestling show this weekend? Or is it next weekend? I think it would be Dominion? Dominion? Or Sakura Genesis or the start of the G one. Oh no, he knows all he knows all things New Japan. Only because I've gotten my, my recently uploaded wrestling app can I figure things out. So that's NXT. Um, so again, programming notes. This will be going up tonight. Yeah, it should be going up tonight. We'll be processing one of my things. Saturday is going to be NXT. Don't see myself getting called in. If I do, it's... Well, I can't because I have to go, go somewhere. Sunday? I don't know. I have to figure out, I have to figure out what's Sunday. Then Monday, Tuesday is going to be the normal Raw SmackDown. I probably am in some way going to cover Super Showdown in Saudi Arabia on Friday. But look for a live stream for that. Oh, and also later tonight, yeah, much later tonight, um, I'm going to be doing my Impact Wrestling review. And for everyone out there in YouTube Place that have either subscribed or left a comment, or actually pay attention to this? Listen to me talk? Um, let me know if I should keep on doing reviews for Impact. Or if I should live stream Impact. I think... I don't know. Only because I don't know what the match cards are. And that gets a little... Funky. I'll also pose that question come NXT though too. So I think I have to go to bed after NXT. Man, I haven't seen a, I haven't seen the last Star Wars movie in a while. Shoot, I've like, stretched this out forever. So much wrestling going on. Again, that's NXT 25 predictions. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy.